So today I'm going to be guessing books based off of their one star reviews. I asked Corey to go through and pick out some books that I like, that he's aware of, that have, and then go to Goodreads and find some one star reviews. Mm -hmm. and, that, and then I'm gonna guess. That's the concept. It's pretty self explanatory. Okay. Did you have fun looking through a bunch of one star reviews? Oh, yeah. Some one star reviews are really funny. Yeah, some are, but like most were kind of just like, a this rant. was one star and here's a novel why. And it's yeah, like, eh, yeah, it doesn't yeah. really. I, I hope to someday be the type of person that can either DNF a book or give a book one star and just be funny. Because mm. I'm usually the, here's a novel, here's all the reasons why I hated this. But I, I want to be one of those people that one stars a book because somebody drank warm milk. Okay. Yeah. I want to be that person. Was that in a review? Yeah, okay. the whole review. It was for Kafka on the Shore, which is a book that you could really dissect if you wanted to, but instead it was because he drank warm milk. That's why I didn't like it. So. I just I just appreciate those people. All right. So as the first one, I think these are up here for like four seconds or so before it goes to the next one. We'll just pause. Okay. If you like beer, video games, and watching sports, this is the fathering book for you. Filled with horrible generalizations, Snapchat, write Snapchat writing, what does that even mean? Oh, no. Snapchat <laughs> writing skills and depressing standards for male figures. Oh my. I don't believe this book conveys the intended joke nature it was striving for. Kings of the Wild. No. Ah, oh, okay. I just, like, that's, I don't read a lot of, like, funny. Oh, is it? Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? No. Oh my gosh. I don't they, read very many fantasy or sci-fi books that are supposed to be funny. Well, it's not a fantasy or sci-fi book. I don't is know it why Cradle? Assume that. She guessed another fantasy book immediately. Read this line. This is the fathering book for you. What is that supposed to do for me? Well, you've read a book that's written by a father. Oh no. Oh, no. oh, the second she gets it is sad. Things my son needs to know about the world. That's so yep. rude. Everyone's allowed to have their opinions, but this one is wrong. Yeah. My favorite of the big black bar novels I've read, Grown Married Women Falling for my, It's my least favorite, because it's favorite. a one-star review. Grown Married Women Falling for Criminals. Even Swarthy Pirates! I mean, it's obvious. <laughs> that's, Just keep um, reading. That's, that's Jamaica, no, not Jamaica Inn. Uh, Frenchman's Creek. Yeah. Just pathetic. None of the swashbuckling fun of Treasure Island. And not much of the same suspense as her other novels. So you're right. It's definitely not as suspenseful as a yeah. lot of her other novels. And it's true, it is not Treasure Island. <laughs> so I gotta give her that. <laughs> well, I mean, like, why the comparison is Treasure Island if it's just a different altogether book or different story just because it has pirates? Does it, is it supposed to be compared to Treasure Island? Oh, well, that's what I'm looking at. Uh, not in my copy. No. Oh. But, I mean, that's not to say that no one has ever Have you ever heard of Frenchman? Treasure Island. Yeah. I certainly wouldn't compare the two. If you like Treasure Island, try Frenchman's Creek. They, they both do have pirates in them. Yeah. I mean, if Treasure Island is the standard, then, then yeah. Good review. Well, Let's create like some times. stakes. What do I get if I get points? And how do I how do I get points? I don't know. I get three guesses to get it right, and then I get a point. Mm -hmm. And if I get how many how many of these do you have? Ten. Ten. Okay. Yeah. If I get eight out of ten, I get to have a bonfire. <laughs> yeah. The writing was good. Plot was interesting. However, it felt me, oh, no, that's not the words. It left me with a bad taste in my mouth because Big Black Bar is a villain. This guy is pure evil. He makes himself out to be the hand of God when he, in, when he enacts his revenge fantasy on his friends and their families. It was a strange read because of course Big Black Bar is the hero. <sighs> okay, that's kind of hard to. Well, you know, just think so about it. So is this person saying that this person is not supposed to be a villain, but he is a villain? Right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So the hero is truly a villain because he's pure evil. Can I guess um, Rage of Dragons? No. Okay. I mean, you can guess that, but that would be wrong. Not, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, do okay. what you want. Makes himself out to be the hand of God when he enacts his revenge fantasy 
on his friends and families. Hmm. Is it Count of Monte Cristo? It is. <gasps> I'm amazing. Well, that's, that's. I know, right? Like that's the discussion of the book. Exactly. He becomes the people. Right. Who stole his own life? Yeah. He becomes as bad as them. Yeah, he's not supposed to be a good guy just because you're you're from his POV. Right. So no shade to this reviewer. However, I do think that this is a pretty common thing that comes up, where people assume that the main character is the hero of the story. Right. But that's, it's very frequently not that. A lot of times an author is just creating a character and having them respond to the world. Mm -hmm. But we're not supposed to moralize with them. We're not yeah. supposed to agree with what they're doing. Sure. A lot of times they're intentionally making all the wrong choices. What was that quote that's like, revenge is a bitter poison or something? It would be impossible to know. know. Negative stars, negative 100 stars, with a big old angry face. This was absolutely horse blank. <laughs> you censored it. Yeah. <laughs> there were so many things wrong here in terms of the direction of so this, this is, author took. Yeah. I am appalled that there that those who thought so highly of this book thought so highly of this book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I love, love that. it. Yeah. I love it. The praise it receives is definitely not justified. And this book is not worthy. P.S. The author did mm, so dirty. So oh, I forgot mm, to blank dirty. that one. Yeah, you're, you're like censoring some things <laughs> and not others. I well, was livid on behalf of Mamoru. Oh, whoops. Were you supposed to censor that? I was supposed to censor that, I guess. You're doing a bad job. Man, I don't know. It must have been in pain know. or something. I don't know what that name is. And let's face it, blank was was as much of a blank as our husband is. Too little, too late, folks. Okay. The fact that some of the some of my book pals on here <laughs> rated this so highly has me questioning their trustworthiness for future recommendations because this book was just bad on so many levels, and don't you worry, I'll list the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so irritated. <laughs> then it continues. Okay. Highlighting the lazy, oh my gosh, you didn't, you didn't sense that I one. I don't know, I was really bad at that. And again, the fact that Blank got blanked over by by this <laughs> author, so, so effing dirty. On so many, oh my golly. No, the last line. Not willing to discuss this whatsoever, <laughs> except for the novel that I just <laughs> wrote. I'm just pissed. I'm done. 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 <laughs> yes. Oh. This the... is the kind of melodrama that I want. In exactly. My so dramatic. Yeah. This is this is a so... good review. Negative a hundred stars. This is good. This so, is good. Yes, that so yes. Is... So I do have some good hints. In I here, thought that though. was the funniest review. Military I saw, probably. fantasy, which means that it could be Rage of Dragons. It could be um, um, Malazan. I don't read a lot of military fantasy. I feel like most fantasies I've read involve somehow fighting and battles in the military. That's a good militaries. point. It could be Stormlight, but because that is just about the extent or of like Lord of the threat. Rings or... <laughs> you haven't read Lord of the Rings. I know, but I've watched the movies, as people know, probably. Okay, so, military fantasy. I don't read a lot of military fantasy. I guess everything <clears throat> I recommend to you is just military fantasy. Um, <laughs> this author did somebody dirty. There's a Mamoro in the book. Which is not a name I recognize. Whoops. Well, What's well, a good thing I didn't, I forgot to do that one. Um, Rage of Dragons. Wrong. I don't think you would pick a Malazan book. Or would I? What character Mamoru would be? I don't remember names though. So yeah, that's definitely not a Mamoru name. could literally be one of the main characters. This is probably my favorite review ever though. It's a really good review. I just love how just this just, is just the kind over of, yeah, this is everything the kind of they are. I want. Is it Gardens of the Moon? No. Ah, I get to tell you. Okay, what? Sword of Kaigen. <gasps> or how do you say it? Okay, that's definitely military fantasy. Sword of Kaigen. So now, does it Wait. all make sense? Oh, and let's face it. Misaki is as much of a monster as her husband is. Yep. Yep. I would disagree. What? Yeah, I should probably have like done a one where you could see the uncensored names. No, that would. I know who Misaki is. Right. One of the worst books I've never read. 
Oh, I got 20 pages in and was literally in tears because I was being tortured with nonsense on each page. I threw the book away. Fortunately, the only book in my lifetime that has ever suffered this fate. There so, is no yeah. way for me to guess this book based off of this review. Which is why I actually did two reviews for this one. Oh, okay. I just wanted you to see this one because I thought it was funny. It's a great, that's the kind of petty I want. Then maybe after reviews. you read the second review, go back and look at this and it's just, it's funny. Okay. So here we go. This quirk. is the review. Quirk, quirk. Quirk, 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 quirk. I already love it. Read the above, read it again, read it seven more times. The cute thing about language is that if you see, hear, or say a word enough, it just doesn't seem to make sense anymore. Yeah. Repetitive yeah. writing gets to me too. Yep. You know it's a word, but suddenly the Q just doesn't quite get along with the U anymore. And the, okay. And the R and the K can't <laughs> see. Okay, all right, all right, all right. What? Read it again. That's this book. It's quirky. It's so quirky. Its quirks have quirks. <laughs> and those quirks have little quirks of their own. By the time you finally work your way through the whole quirky family tree, <laughs> my first quirk doesn't seem quirky anymore. Seems annoying. <laughs> That's a great review. So, yeah, I thought that was awesome, too. I'm trying to think of a book that overuses the word quirky that I've loved. So, I don't know if it was trying to be literal with the word quirk. Or if it just means that all the characters are quirky. Or if it just means that, like, it does this thing all the time. Okay. A book that I've loved that you know well enough to look up one-star reviews to. Yeah. <laughs> Worse than zero. That's the shelf it's on. Nice. That's super quirky. I mean, I think that Bachman, again, could fit into this category because he has pretty quirky characters. Right. But would you do two Bachmans in a row? What I? Who knows? So here's the deal. Um, literary, literary, literally tears because I was tortured with nonsense on each page. So nonsense be, on each page. Could be a classic fairy tale. Quirk, 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 quirk. Is it Peter Pan? No. Do you like how I sing the nose? Do you yeah. like that? It really softens that blow. Yeah. It could well, it's meant be to be more like something like triumphant. Alice in Wonderland. It could be like a nonsense book. Alice in Wonderland does have a lot of nonsense. <sighs> Quirk. So I've been told, I've only seen the Disney movie. Which was basically like reading it. Did you do any manga or did you exclusively do books? I'm not gonna tell you what I did. Spy Family. No. I don't read that many quirky books. You gotta say something. You can't just sit there. I can because you're gonna edit this. <laughs> Is it on my shelves? Yes. It's actually a like a, a featured feature? a featured book on your shelf. <gasps> a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yes. I should have known. Yes. Oh, <laughs> 20 pages because I was being tortured with nonsense on each page. Well, you're right about yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> it is absolute nonsense on each page. That's a great review. Oh, yeah. Nope. The girl needs blamed for most stupid things ever. That's most main characters. The girl gets blamed. Oh, gets blamed. That makes the premise completely unbelievable. What? And the book not worth reading. Why would children be made to read this? Okay, that's a clue. In order to damage their potential for logical thinking or something. DNF. Okay. Main character gets blamed for the most stupid... <gasps> Nevermore. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Winner! That was a good job. Hey! Hey! I get two points for that one. Yeah, I guess. No. I don't know. It's your, you can do whatever rules. you want to do. I don't know. Do I get a bonfire no matter what then? I guess. Do we even have the equipment to make a bonfire? Mm. Super duper YA snooze fest. That's Goosebumps true. books have more excitement. Okay, so it's something that's supposed to be a little bit spooky probably. After a few chapters of predictable struggles, the main character, a teenager, realizes he's all, okay, boy, he's all-knowing, outwits everyone, and eventually understands that his mediocre sword lessons have turned him into a master swords, ma swordsman because of wit, credo, resolve, etc. Credo? I don't know. Everything works out exactly how he expects because of some principles learned during his early tutelage. Zzz. If you're having trouble sleeping, dive in. Okay, so a man who becomes a master swordsman super fast and not exciting. Oh, and it's YA, which people call stuff YA that's not sometimes. Sure. But a man-main a man -main character who is a swordsman. Hmm. Rage of Dragons. 
No, 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 no. Nope, Snooze nope. Fest. Snooze Fest. That's loaded with battles. Yeah, I have read Rage of Dragons. It's not a Snooze Fest. Well, I mean, that's subjective. Okay, well, Swordsman. Know, man, gosh, if that was a Snooze Why Fest. Why a Swordsman? Is it, is it going to be... Um, no, you wouldn't know to look up Theft of Swords because I don't talk about it's that. It's not anymore. true. Because you came down here and looked at my bookshelves? Yeah, I looked at your bookshelves and whatever titles popped out to me that After swords. I knew. No, that's not it. <laughs> Would it be the Ember Blade? Yes! <gasps> yeah. Yay! It's also not YA. Oh, there you go. Characters with unsettling. <laughs> I feel like we've seen this before. I Have did we talked a video about this? reacting to one star reviews for my favorite books. Ah, uh, this was in it? And this was in it. I felt like I had seen this before. Characters with unsettling proportions shouting exposition. One piece. <laughs> this is one of my favorite one star reviews yeah. I've ever read. Unsettling because proportions. Unsettling proportions. That is one piece. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Just shouting shout. exposition. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> I yeah. love it. Oh, yeah. I love so, it. Thanks to Nat Galley and the publishers of this manga mm -hmm. for an advanced look in exchange for an honest review. This is one of the few manga that I have been able to finish. So I guess it gets points for that. Why did you get something from NetGalley if it's a genre or type of book that you hate? Yeah. But this is violent, abrasive language. Okay, abrasive language, okay. Dysfunctional, typical manga, except that the women are not exploited on every page, okay. A manga that's violent mm -hmm. and that has language. Well, abrasive language. Okay. Heavens. If that's true in the first volume, I'm gonna guess Vinland Saga. No. Um, in the first, see, I'm thrown off by the first volume because Hunter Hunter I would not describe as any of those things in the first volume. Now it could be Tomie, cause that's violent right off the bat. Tomie. But it Tell said that women are not being exploited on every page. And that one literally kicks off with murdering and dismembering a woman. So oh. I really doubt it's that. Could be, though, if you think about it. A manga that I... I haven't even read that many manga, though. Oh, you've read some manga. Mermaid Saga? No. Oh, right. A woman's killed in the first chapter of that one, too. No, no, no. A man is. Violent, abrasive language, dysfunctional, and not exploiting women. This is also a two-star review because I couldn't find a lot of good one-star reviews for this. Is it Saga? No. Hmm. Is it Spy Family? Spy Family! Really? Yeah. I that's... kept coming back to that in my head, <laughs> but I can't understand abrasive language. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they were rude to each other? In the first volume? I don't... In the first volume... Okay, whatever. Yeah? My family it is. Okay. All right. I could not, for the life of me, take any of this talk about something seriously. There, were har there was hardly a single touch of reasonable camp to rede redeem itself, even just a little bit. What? Like a campy feeling? I don't know. Okay. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. It failed to sustain a cohesive, thorough, thorough line, concrete characterization, allegorical significance, or, at the very least, a deeper sense of something actually frightening. Okay? Should be spooky. You can only get so far with pretty artwork. Probably manga. I would even argue that the level of craft taken in illustrating each panel, definitely manga, had only intensified the basal inad... Inanity? Of Inane? blank line. Just couldn't win with, the, with this one. This behemoth of a graphic novel Doubtlessly overkill. A Monster Calls is a graphic novel. And yeah. it is supposed to be spooky. Okay. A Monster Calls? No. Uzumaki? Yes. <laughs> Uzumaki's wonderful. I love Uzumaki. Why does it have to have some camp to balance out the horror? I don't Why know. Why can't it just be a horror? Oh. Novel? So they mean like just chill for a second? Yeah, like give me a moment to breathe. But oh. it's weird to describe that as camp. Like in Uzumaki, yeah, they're, they're there camp. are- It's just camp here for a little while instead of- Oh, is that, what that, is that what they mean? I don't know. See, like a campy book or a campy movie means like cheesy. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought, I thought that would have meant it just takes its time and we just- That would be like 
room to breathe. Oh, wow. But I mean, I, you can describe it that way. That's just not what I'm familiar with. Um, I would I would argue that there's a little bit of room to breathe. Eh, probably not. You know what? Fair. That's the last one. <gasps> oh, oh my golly! <gasps> yeah. We get a bonfire! I guess. I feel like you missed every one of them. Yeah. Except for only a couple. Yeah. But I got three tries for every one of them. <sighs> Well, that's probably because, yeah, so I guess that makes sense. You guessed a lot of wrong ones, but not the last ones. So Passing there you go. is good enough for me. All right, well, uh, maybe you enjoyed this video, maybe you didn't, but we did it, so there we it is. We did do it. I thought I did a good job of picking out some good reviews. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love reading one-star reviews. I, I actually, a lot of times with books that I love, I'll intentionally go look for funny one-star reviews just because, mm -hmm. like, it's fun. It's just fun. Yeah. There you go. That's the video. Do your little outro bit. Comment something, and then watch some more videos. Do your outro bit. Chat with us in the comments about what your favorite one-star review was, and leave a one-star review of your own that's either petty or funny or both for a book that I love. Or a book that you Or leave a one-star review for this video. That would be good. Like too. a roast. Do it. Yeah. <laughs>